baseball fans, and welcome. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started, and on the hill in this one, Corbin Burns. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. The second baseman, Luis Rangifo. And a pitch. Ball. And that skips in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. First pitch, First pitch. one o'clock. And the 1 0. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. He wastes no time on this one, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1 0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Here's Trout. Right through there for a strike. Burns, 29 years old, and of course has a Cy Young to his credit. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. This to center field. Mullins under this one. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One out, base is empty. Ball. That one missed. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Right. Swings oh. through that one. It's a strikeout. That again. Now it's the right fielder, the right Taylor, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. Ward. Wouldn't chase that time. Ward goes one six oh. foot one, 30 years old now, a former first round pick back in 2015. Oh, Next pitch one. in for a strike, and it's one and one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hayes ranging after it. And he makes the catch. And that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back after this on the show. Back now at Oriole Park. And today's starter, Reed Detmers. 
Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, leading off off hitters, it's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. In the air, right field. He's there. He's got it. And a quick out, number one. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles' lineup now. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up take the lead I tell you what momentum can really swing and you can put your pitcher back in a position where he feels his most confident and a foul ball one down base is empty this one popped up foul ground first base side Calls it in to away. Batting third. The right fielder. Two Anthony. outs, base is empty. Now a chance for Anthony Santander. Santander hitting third in the lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. The 1 0. They had a foul ball. The pitch. Yeah, that one clips the corner. On the ground to short, Neto. Over to first, Out. inning over. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They're down, one nothing. All set for the Leading start of the inning. Game. Here's Anthony the Rendon up to the plate. Anthony Rendon. Burns back to work. That one fouled off. Deal one. And a foul ball. And deal two. Got him. And one away. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one for him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. So up next, Mickey Moniak. There's a strike, Burns. Multi-time All-Star. He throws a cutter, a curb, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Outside. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Left field. Two up, two down. Batting seven. The catch is number 14. Logan, Logan Ohapi, the Ohapi. next to hit for the Angels. Here we 
ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one lifted to left. Hayes ranging after it. He's got it. And that'll do it. After an inning and a half, it's 1-0. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Bottom the of the Orioles. inning. Here's the Oriole the cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. Next offering misses down and away. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Trout is there. And it's caught for the out. That is good. The seven so next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. foul the Angels up by a run bottom half of inning number two right side steps on first for the out Fell off to a great start he's really cruising out there on the mound he's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches that could set him off to go deep into this game here's Ryan Mountcastle Right down the chute, and that's strike one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. No. And takes low for ball one. One ball, one strike. Now he breaks his bat. And they put the tag on him for the out. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And it remains 1 0. Back here in Baltimore, out of the third inning, going down for the Angels, Nolan Shanowell. And a pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's all no one. One strike. Up the middle, Mateo gets it to first. He's out. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting up. The short and now the shortstop, Batting. Zach Neto. Neto. There's a strike. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. Ball. The shortstop takes One the ball. One. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. One down, base is empty, and it's fouled away. And another ball. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 3 2 down. now. Oh. 
payoff pitch. He goes down looking. Back to the top of the lineup. And next for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. And delivers outside. Two outs, base is empty. No. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Three and now three and one. Strike. Mike Trout up next for the Angels. Righty delivers. Foul ball. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Trout, the next to hit, takes outside. a rocket into the outfield. Ring Hifo, round second on his way to third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Brandon Drury to the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. Three right by. through there for a strike. And now the one. Ball That's one. inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that one fouled off. Ring Hifo, the runner at third. Trout at second with two gone. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Angels strand a couple, but they're on top, one nothing. Swing that early in the count. Check swing. Went around. No balls, two strikes. Check swing of the 0 2, appeal to first, and yes, he offered at it. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Jorge Mateo now. Slap the other way, foul. Pitch. On the line, base hit. 
just kind of slice that one into center. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to him, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles, he checks over to first, back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ah. That one catches the zone. That's oh, strike one. Man at first, one away. One one. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing, and that's ball one. Two, one. Chase that time. Mateo runs. He stops center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So the lineup flips over. And now here is Gunnar Henderson. He's 0 for 1. Ball First one. pitch misses. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. one ball. I think ultimately one you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit ball it to three. the outfield. And another ball. Two ball. Good spot one for the three. hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Ground ball right side. In plenty of time to first. But the run scores, and that makes it a 1-1 one -one game. Here's Adley Rutschman. Popped out and foul ground first time through. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Kicks and deals. That one ripped. Back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. The run comes in from second. It's 2 1. And that's a two out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Anthony Santander at the plate. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. You have a catcher that can throw like that. A pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. One more. And that one is inside. No. Close, but called a ball. And it's two and one. Good eye right, no, right there. Here. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Ryan O'Hearn waiting on deck for the Orioles. 3-1 now. And that one fouled off. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Good plate ball appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. Found a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, though, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I could have done it. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. 
all for one with a fly out to center. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. A sacrifice to brace that was my wrist and my hand. And strike two. Rutschman, the lead runner at second. Santander on at first with two down. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. Swing and a miss, and that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Three innings complete. It's the Orioles two, and the Angels one. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now Taylor Ward. Taylor. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And a pitch. Ball and that's in the dirt. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job. Two, one. And another ball. Two. On the corner for a strike. the ground foul. and that's just foul the pitch oh, just three. off the outside edge all oh, three yeah. really good take especially with two strikes Pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Caught looking his first time up. And that's downstairs and outside. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. So two down now, and here is Mickey Moniak. Fly to left his first time. In there at the knees, it's 0-1. Moniak measures six feet two inches, 25 years old, and he's usually in right today, starting in left. Righty to the plate. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. That one pushed foul. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
picks up strikeout number seven. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Orioles two and the Angels one. Back here with my pal C, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Cedric Mullins. And he deals. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Moniak grabs it on the run. Now that the designated hitter. Ryan. Now here's the Orioles DH. Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. Grounded out his first time up. And that one fouled off. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Austin Hayes. Line drive, base hit right field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Now one a little bit high, and that's ball one. One ball, no strike. Hayes off of first with two away. And a good eye there. Two ball, no strike. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. Ball. Great RBI spot Look here. Out. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. This one smoked out to left. Moniak makes the catch and that ends the inning one left for the Orioles they lead it 2 one and welcome back to the ballpark and now the catcher comes up to him Logan Ohapi Burns back to work and that one hit 97 on the gun. You know, these Angels just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. And another ball. Last couple of pitches breaking balls One away. Strike. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Close one doesn't get the call. Three and one now. Ripped base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, they call that an advantage yeah, yeah, count yeah. for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Stepping in, Nolan Shanwell. Grounded out to short in his first trip. 
And that one clips the corner. Oh one. Tying run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. That's Next pitch ball. is outside. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. No, Just outside. off the outside edge. Dude. And that's in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh. Got him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. No, no. And next for L.A., Zach Neto no, no. went down on strikes no, no. his first time through. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. That one finds the zone. Going to one. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball. With a layoff one that strike. pitch down. Hater deals. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Right hander kicks, deals. Ah, Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. So the batting order turns over. Luis Renjifo uh -huh. gets a chance to hit here and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles two and the Angels one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. The lefty fires. No. Well, a 95 missed up one top. Out. Ball one. That clips the corner. Ah. Right through there for a strike. One lifted in the air, left field, and it drops in. So now back to the top of the order. Third baseman, number two. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Rip, but it curls foul. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That's in there. Oh, a two down. 
What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove what where if they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Got it by him for the K. Boat gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So, and that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. He scores. It's 3-1. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. One out, runner at second. Digging in, Anthony Santander. That yeah. catches the corner. pitch late swing fouled off one two in the dirt blocked no advance good job behind the dish action in the Angels bullpen Adam Simber getting loose out there or also getting ready And it's second. Fouls it off, still one and two. two and that's two. in the dirt. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Ohapi calls it in, and there's two away. Going to have to have a little oh, more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One Runner point. at second, two down. Last half of inning number five. That no, misses the ball. zone, and that is ball one. In the air to left center, Monian makes a nice grab and a full sprint. The O's add one and an RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Baltimore. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now here is Mike Trout. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. That one in there to Mike Trout. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just Ball. a joy to watch. And that's down it away. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Ball. And there's a no. ball. 2-1. Just missed. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. Out 
outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important at getting back into this ballgame. With the tying run at the plate, and we're the top half of the sixth. And a base hit. Mullins whips it back in, and it's now first and second to start the inning. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So digging in, Taylor Ward. Gets the call. One one. That's in there. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. At the belt and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. And a pitch. 1 2. Fights that one away, still one and two. And here it comes. Ball. Eighth ball. pitch of the at back coming up. That's a really good take. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Anthony Rendon on deck for the Angels. Side and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's gonna have to buckle down right here. Rendon up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset. It's just try to get out one hitter at a time. The pitch. And fouled off. They need a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something. But you've got to oh. make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The pitch. Ball. Go. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat that. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. Joey got himself into a mess out there, and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Mickey Monia will hit next. Golden opportunity right here. Now a screamer into the outfield. Gone! Grand slam! Oh, my! He'll circle the bases, and they slide in front in the sixth. It's 6-3. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. 
big swing and that turns the tables on this one and when you come to the plate with the bases loaded and you've got some pop you know it's hard not to think about the chance to hit a grand slam and that can be a trap sometimes but not right here he sees the opportunity put a great swing on it and now they're working with the lead Brandon Hyde out of the dugout now and he's ready to make a move to the bullpen that's it for Corbin Burns and as he heads for the dugout we'll take a quick break new arm on the mound when we get back Dylan Tate gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's the catcher to hit, Logan Ohapi. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And the righty deals. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Now back the first base. Nolan Shanuel. Nolan Shanuel, the next to hit for the Angels. Blasted deep to right. Santander ranging back, and it's off the wall. He's in at second with a one out double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And at second with one away. And the batter now, Zach Neto. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Into the outfield base hit. Throw comes into third, and they're at the corners with only one out. The batter number two, second base. Hit. Back to the Luis. top of the Angels lineup. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. He's already homered in this game. That one pulled foul. He's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Ah. And a swing to miss. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever oh. it's going to be. Got him looking. Two way down. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Wow. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you've got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Trout stands in here, takes ball one low. Runners on first and third, two away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Sliced hard, but foul. Two on, two outs. Out to short, Mateo. They take the force out, and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. Halos with a grand slam this inning. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now at Oriole Park. And here is Cedric Mullins. The center field. Cedric Mullins. The 
trying to kick the pitch. To the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Ryan Mountcastle now at the plate. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Oh, now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Ball Next one. pitch misses. And now it's even 1-1. One and one. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. That one won. misses two and one. The Orioles trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. The other way, and it goes just foul. And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul tough pitches. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side no, no, no. across Let's the strike go. zone, especially okay. with two strikes, if you're going to miss, hey. you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. In the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Well, Next two. offering misses and now 2-0. Oh. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Right. That one at the knees for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That one fouled off. Two and two. Oh, and yeah. another ball. And there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this no one, but this is the point in the Short game time. when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Hey. Mateo stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Robert Stevenson, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loose of it. Number 59, also throwing. Hayes off the first with two away. Yep. Swing and a miss. And a count ball. one and one. one. The ball. shortstop takes the ball. Ball. Next Let's offering stop. is downstairs. Jordan Westberg. Next to bat for Baltimore. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Two outs. So now two on and two outs. 
It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. Starting now to show down. some signs of fatigue. Second, so we'll see how much longer they let him go. Jordan Westberg getting ready to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball. One ball. No strike. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. This one in the air. Shadowell under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Orioles strand a couple, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Mike Bauman. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Brandon Drury digs in now. One for three. Brandon Drury. The line of the pitch. Bauman measures six feet four inches, 28 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2017. That's inside, and the count is one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. The two one. Out towards right center field. It gets down a base hit. But we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Taylor Ward. Chopped to third. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and fires. That clips the zone, and it's 0-2. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jacob Webb is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Rudder at first with no outs here. And no. one and two. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. One, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Rendon, the next to hit, takes ball one. That ball. one misses, and that's ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play, but in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Right handed reliever. Ball three. And he walked him. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and now the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now the left fielder, Mickey Moniak. He's had one of, if not the biggest swings of the game, but four up on the board with a grand slam in the sixth. Yeah, Boog, it's every player's dream to blast one out. When you step up to the plate, the bases are loaded, the crowd is buzzing, and when you connect, especially in a close game, man, you're just buzzing even after you round the bases. That's hard hit on the line. And this two are right. The catcher number 14, Logan Ohaku.
now here is Logan Ohapi. Second, Rendon at first, two out of the inning. Upstairs. Swings through that one out Two front ball. that one time. Strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Two on, two outs. Ball. Inside, Inside just missed. Nolan Shadowell up next for the Angels. And the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety. Oh, got him. Third out. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Angels six and the Orioles three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Moore. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Angels. Number 55, Matt Moore. Gunnar Henderson now at the plate. 0 for 3. A fly out of ground out and a strikeout. The pitch. Fought off foul. No, Just off the plate. missed. Oh. That one missing inside. Oh. And now the count filled up three and two. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first. Out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now, now got it. Catcher. Adley. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Moniak pulls it down and there's two gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That oh, front good. shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And that one is lifted in the air. Or drifts towards it. Nabs it. And that is that. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Jacob Webb. Number 66. Jacob So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shadowell. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And a pitch. And fires in a fastball at 95.
Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. In the air, left field, down the line. Hayes makes the grab on the run. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. Absolutely belted. Santander going back on this one. And he brings it into the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Strike on the outside edge. Oh. Gonna count one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Three, Swings five, and three. misses. Struck him out. Nothing across here this half. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels six and the Orioles three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Robert Stevenson. Number 26, Robert Stevenson. So now it's the leading off hitter, four Ryan O'Hearn. The, the Orioles three. in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And he deals. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The pitch. And a curve is down and in. Oh. On the corner at the knees for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. A one two. Hit hard. Base hit. And a board on the leadoff single. He was all over now, that. Uh, that pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. Next to hit, Cedric Mullins. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. O'Hearn on at first. Nobody out. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Ball. That one way inside. One ball, two strikes. Here's a one two. Two two. Squirts away a little bit. Tag save at second. A good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. The Halos leading by three. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that one in the air center field. 
trap makes the play runner tags up for third and he makes it up to third with one away the bat number six designated hitter Ryan. and next is the designated hitter Ryan Mountcastle this is the classic manufacturing a run situation. A runner at third, less than two outs, and a golden opportunity to bring him home. Ah. Outside corner, there's a strike. Some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind or one. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. I got to think that was the plan oh, all the way. Good. He set him up with a no, high fastball good. and then oh, yeah. that curveball down low to get hey. him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Go. Good chase that time. Well, it's critical Water. right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Oh, Off the mark okay. there. Two and one. And the right hander deals. And there's a foul ball. Rudder at third. Two away. swinging and the Orioles leave one and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit all set to start the ninth in this one so in now for the Angels Mike Trout he's not going to get cheated up there no he's not he's looking to do damage with every swing he takes Webb back to work Ball one. And that's down it away. One ball, no strike. Ball Next two. offering is down low. Let's go, Bounced up the middle. Slings to first. Out. Now one gone in the ninth. Now bad. The designated hitter, Brandon. And now the DH, Brandon Drury. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. No. Just missed. Two balls, no strikes to count. to their lead it's 7-3 that's their third home run of the game they're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one they've got the long ball working for them on autopilot now boo clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now I mean that ball was so close to going foul would have been a long strike but instead Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. One down. And next for the Angels, See Taylor right. Ward. Splits the plate. That's strike one. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. One and more. that's downstairs and outside.
And that one got a piece of him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Right through there for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Swings through that one for strike two. Going oh, at the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here. You've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Next one misses, and the count is one and two. And another ball. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. The 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Ward at first, one gone. Base knock, center field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Nevada. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked Mickey. himself into a good count. You often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the well-timed swing. And came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Feed to second, that's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the end. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Adam Simber. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Adam Simber. So digging in, Leading Jorge on. Mateo, one for two. Not shortstop. Jorge Mateo. And here it comes. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Ward pulls it down, one away. Really nice job to get your first the out of the ball game. The second base is Jordan. Jordan Westberg, Westberg, the next to hit. And that yep. is in for a strike. No Going ball. Along. One strike. On the ground of first, Shanowell. And he takes it himself for the out. Third baseman, number two. Gunner Henderson. So it's their last chance in this one. Gunner Henderson will hit next. 0 for 4, two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Oh, two. Two down, nobody on. Here at the last half of inning number nine. Next one off the plate inside. Now one and two. Simber is just one strike away. Ah. And that'll do it. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.